place that's been looked at for decades by ships passing. Beautiful, there's not a breath of wind, the water is completely calm. We have a beautiful bay in Staten Island. We came here to check the, uh, the lighthouse at the end of the world. Staten Island was clearly one of the highlights of the trip. Not only were we privileged to be the second expedition in as many years to, to visit the island, but the wildlife that we saw, and in particular the marine life, was absolutely spectacular. One of the most astonishingly beautiful places I have ever been. We've had absolutely exquisite weather. It has been an amazing trip. Well, we couldn't ask for a more beautiful morning to conclude our expedition and our maiden and historic uh, visit to Staten Island. This morning we're visiting Isla Observatorio, which is just behind me uh, in the background there. And it's a small island, part of a small little archipelago of islands off of the main island of Staten Island. Staten Island, basically a dream for every Argentinian, especially somebody that is interested in nature, uh, specifically in birds. It's uh, nearly a mythical island. The island has been pretty much left to its own for decades now, and it is crawling with life. All sorts of nesting seabirds, Magellanic penguins, giant petrels. Yeah, check this out. I mean, this is just extraordinary. Um, day before yesterday, we were on Cape Horn, and now we're on Staten Island, which I understand nobody has been able to get to for many, many years. And it's just wonderful privilege and an extraordinary experience. The excitement is just overpowered. I've been awake since four in the morning when we were still hours away from anywhere near the, the island. Hard to say, you can put that in words, but it certainly is uh, extraordinary and special and uh, particularly on a day like today, it just, life couldn't get better. My name is Lisa Kelly and I'm the undersea specialist on board. I have the task of going underwater and showing what Staten Island has to offer at the bottom of the ocean. It is unbelievable to be able to be here and diving in a place where very little research, very little diving has been done since the 1970s. I mean, this is just extraordinary. Extremely beautiful. It is crawling with life. Every chance we get, we are going in the water, we're documenting the species that we see. I can't tell you how clear the water is and just how exciting the marine life is. Life couldn't get better. It's uh, nearly a mythical island. It offers awe-inspiring experiences. We're thrilled to be one of the first visitors to explore and experience Staten Island and all it has to offer. The island is a place where none of us have ever been before. Very few scientists and also military personnel are able to visit. It is crawling with life. Due to the fact that it's been isolated for so long, so little human presence on the island, there's a lot of wildlife, there's a lot of flora about, the environment is largely untouched. It is unbelievable to be able to be here and diving in a place where very little research, very little diving has been done since the 1970s. Exploring unbelievable places.
Probably you have read the novel by Jules Verne. We're going to be visiting the lighthouse at the end of the world. It has an amazing southern beach forest for us to hike through. Great day, great walk. Small secluded little coves for us to zodiac cruise. The sun is broken through and it's beautiful. It's in fact the only island in Argentina that has fjords in it. And I can definitely say kayaking here on the island is a very unique experience. We are pioneering and the first to undertake that. Wonderful privilege and an extraordinary experience. It just, life couldn't get better.